right, this is John Cullen with OKRaw.com to have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make one of the world's most nutritious salads that you guys can eat. You know, I like to think that I live on a raw, nutritarian diet where I'm eating most of the foods that I eat that goes into my body are raw, so they're mostly fruits and vegetables, and then I add select amounts of other plant foods, as you will learn in this episode. I've been eating a raw fruit and vegetable dominated diet since 1995 and I always try to increase and better what I'm doing. Now I want to give you guys a disclaimer, if you guys think that I'm tired, I probably freaking am. This is my third video today in addition to gardening, doing all the food prep and making a video like this for me is an incredible amount of work. Normally I would just make this recipe to eat, but when I got to film it then I got to do all this other prep and make it look nice and put things in a little cups and bowls and then I need to wash them all and prep them all and it's a multi-step process so that's why I'm tired in this video and I hope you guys find this video worthwhile it takes me a lots of time to do this and I do this because I want people to know you know what I'm doing number one and number two my thoughts on eating ultra healthy right my thoughts are not mine alone you know I am riding on the coattails of other people like Dr. Joel Furman, you know, I recommend his books highly, his nutritarian style diet eating plan, and I personally like to think that I take what Joel has done and is doing and take it up to the next notch, the next level, by incorporating additional foods that may not be in his G-bombs list, in addition, processing them in the best way possible, and even cranking in more vegetables, <laughs> alright, um, so that's what I want to share with you guys tonight. And this is going to be basically a microgreen salad. Most people never eat a microgreen salad because microgreens are so expensive. Luckily, I have a friend in town that has a microgreens business called Loco Sano Greens in Las Vegas, Nevada. So if you guys are looking for the best microgreens in Las Vegas, check out Loco Sano Greens on Instagram. Put a link down below. You can contact El Toro through Instagram to get the same exact microgreens that I'm eating. And that's one of the reasons why this is the most nutritious salad you guys can eat because microgreens are 4 to 40 times more nutritious than the large size vegetables. Of course, you could also grow your own microgreens. You don't need an outside garden. You could do it on a stainless steel or chrome plated rack that you could buy at Costco. If you guys want to do that, I recommend checking the link down below to a video I made in Baltimore, Maryland where a, a guy basically made $100,000 a year growing microgreens in his spare bedroom. And he teaches you guys how to do that and $1,000 will buy you the kit as well as two days of training from him so that you will be able to grow the microgreens and make this very nutritious salad. Because let me tell you guys, if you guys try to buy enough microgreens to make this salad, you will go broke. You know, the retail price of this microgreens I'll be using today is probably in excess of $100. But of course, you know, if you're a millionaire, then you should probably buy the many microgreens and eat them every day because it will enhance your health. Now another thing I'm going to tell you guys, and my videos ain't short, they're long because I have a lot of information to pack in here because I want you guys to have the information you need to eat healthfully if you want to. The other thing I'll tell you is that you don't need to eat microgreen. You could do sprouts and sprouting. Sprouting is a lot easier than growing microgreens because literally it's just done in water and mason jars or sprout bags instead of growing microgreens in trays and in soil and all these kinds of things. And you can get very comparable nutrition uh, you know, to the microgreens. That being said, there are ancillary ingredients that you want to use that I'll be going over in this episode, and the first of which is the dressing. This is a nutrient-dense dressing, and uh, what it is, it's my miso tahini dressing, and I've put a little spin on it because I always like to take it up a notch, and the ingredients simply are three cups of, and people normally use water or coconut water, Sometimes I use sugar cane juice, but today I'm using zucchini juice. This is fresh, vacuum-juiced zucchini. If you want to learn how to do that, check the link down below for how I made celery juice in the Dynapro blender under vacuum. Um, this is next-level juicing because you retain more polyphenols and antioxidants than a standard juicer. Plus, a standard juicer is not really going to effectively juice zucchini because of the texture. All right? So, three cups. Then, we got... Uh, two heaping cups of sesame seeds, which is one and a half cups of sesame seeds, and we got maybe like a half a cup of macadamia nuts, and then I poured on a whole bunch of flax seeds on top. Um, you know, this is a better balance out the omega-3 to 6 balance in there. 
instead of just using all sesame seeds. The next ingredient we will be using is white miso. Uh, this is fermented miso from organic soy and I like this brand. It's called the Cold Mountain because this is the less sodium. This is very difficult to find. I have to, I have to go to a specialty Asian store in town to find this. Most health food stores don't carry the low sodium version. This has 60% less sodium than their normal version that you find at health food stores. This allows you to actually use more of this so you can get more of the beneficial soy isoflavones and other nutrients in the fermented soy and maybe the uh, byproducts of the fermentation or secondary metabolites or you know postbiotics if you want to call them that. Next of course for flavoring and anti-cancer power we got some um, garlic cloves. I got about nine cloves and then in addition I just kind of put in some uh, fennel seeds that I just harvested from my garden for additional nutrition. And then finally we got uh, three lemons. So I'm just going to be squeezing the lemon juice into the blender before we blend. So let's go ahead and add the ingredients of our salad dressing. First we got the zucchini juice going in, nice and green. Next we got all the sesame seeds and flax seeds and macadamia nuts. You know, um, to me, seeds and nuts are essential on my plant-based diet. You know, the flax seeds have the lignans, high omega-3s, there's all different kinds of properties in the nuts and seeds and if you notice I'm not using any oil. Oil is very high in calories and very low in nutrition and I'd rather use the nuts and seeds whole and I don't even buy the tahini that you could use instead of the whole sesame seeds. Um, you know because these guys have fiber and other phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals in there significantly more than simply oil would. All right. And uh, next we got the miso coming out, so I just got a scoop here, and I don't know, I just put a couple heaping scoops. I never really measure stuff, so when I make a video, I got to kind of measure stuff out a little bit. And we'll put like three heaping tablespoons. Once again, this is a low, low sodium version. All right, next we got the garlic and the fennel going right in, simple and easy. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and squeeze the lemon juice into the blender. All right, last lemon getting juiced into the Tribest Dyna Pro vacuum blender. And it's very important to use a vacuum blender. I do not, I no longer recommend conventional blending. So if you have a Vitamix, that is a traditional blender that blends in an oxygen rich environment. Um, and the vacuum blender, actually, you will use a vacuum pump to suck the excess oxygen out before you blend. And as shown in science and my proven by my taste buds, actually, you know, you, you save and uh, preserve more of the beneficial polyphenols and antioxidant vitamins. I just put this pump on the top and what I'm doing, what's happening now is that this pump is basically pumping out the excess oxygen in the headspace, but also taking some of the oxygen out of the liquid should there be any gaps and spaces in between the seeds. I think this pump runs about 90 seconds, so we're going to come back at you when it's fully pumped out. All right, once the pump shuts off, you're going to then go ahead and remove the pump, and now the oxygen has been pulled out, and it's very simple to use a Tribest Dynapro. We're just going to go ahead and hit the blend button two times, hit it once, it's going to run for 30 seconds, hit it twice, it's going to run for a minute, and then actually um, it'll shut itself off automatically. All right, so you guys can see the blender stopped automatically. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and take the blender crap off and now I want you guys to watch this mixture very carefully as I pull this little plug and allow the air to rush back into the blender. You guys can see the mixture actually level went down because when you blend in or vacuum it expands the mixture and it's said to basically, um, you know, uh, blend up a little bit more efficiently. And uh, here's our nice salad dressing, really nice consistency. Yeah, maybe a little bit thick, maybe add a little bit more um, water or liquid if you want to, or reduce the nuts and seeds just a tad bit. Now I want to show you guys the ingredients in the salad. I would consider this a G-Bomb Plus salad because it has actually all the Dr. Furman G-Bombs, which I think is a great starting point, but you should probably try to go above, above the G-Bombs because there's so many other phytonutrients and other plant foods that have very high nutrition and very low calories. And I'm going to share some of those with you guys today. So, but for the G-bombs anyways, we got the greens, which are the microgreens, which is probably one of the most nutritious uh, greens you guys could eat. For the beans, this is my preferred beans I like to eat. This is the Urad Dao. 
popular in India. This is actually organic from the local uh, Indian market near me. The reason why I like the Urad Dal is because number one, it's a dark bean, so it has more anthocyanins, and number two, it's a lot more favorable in omega three to six balance than other beans. Omega three to six balance is very critical for our health, so that our bodies can convert the you know omega threes and sixes to EPA and DHA. That being said, I also do take. DHA supplementation irregularly, which I feel to be important. Next, we got the the oh the onions, right? Onions also garlic and allium family plants. So in here, instead of using the onion bulb, I got the onion greens, and I like to harvest onion greens. These are all from my garden. I harvested leek greens, onion greens, shallot greens. You know they are more antioxidant rich than just the standard you know onion bulb that is normally eaten. Next, we got the M for mushrooms. I got about eight ounces of shiitake mushrooms. That's what I had today. I want to let you guys know that the mushrooms and the red dell beans were uh, heat processed in my instant pot for about uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, to get them properly uh, cooked, and then everything else is completely raw. Next, we got the B for berries, and yes, tomatoes are berries. And the secret on tomatoes is you want to select the smaller cherry tomatoes that have a lot more skin area. Then internal area, there's lots of nutrients in the skin, but make sure you chew them really well. I've chopped them all up. So those are the G-bombs. So we're going to go ahead and add some of these G-bombs to my big oversized salad bowl. And if you're wondering, um, you know, the salad bowl is, uh, you know, not just for me for one meal. <laughs> this is going to be several meals. I do meal prep in advance. So um, we're going to go ahead and put all the microgreens in there. And this is a lot of microgreens in here. And uh, I didn't, these were not pre-cut. This is just how I got them from the farmer. Next, we're going to go ahead and put all the mushrooms in there. Then I'm going to use this handy tool. It's actually called the uh, toss and chop. I like tossing and chopping. So you put it in here and you just chop it. And you toss it and chop it. So you get a handful of the greens and you just use the scissors to cut. And it cuts it as you're tossing and chopping. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and get this, the greens and the mushrooms all chopped up into smaller pieces so that it makes it easier for me to chew. And more importantly, because this microgreens mix has at least a half dozen different microgreens, including some of the brassica microgreens, when you cut up the brassica micro microgreens, you create an enzymatic reaction that actually make it more anti-cancerous. So this step can be critical, especially if you're eating like uh, onion or brassica family plants. Let me tell you guys something, you're going to build up your wrist strength by tossing off your salad with the toss and chop. I definitely feel it in my wrist right there. I think my wrists are stronger, so instead of using those stupid grips, <laughs> just toss off your salad every night. Alright, so that's uh, the microgreens and the mushrooms all chopped up. Next we got the Urad Dal. It's about four cups of cooked Urad Dal beans going right in. Next we got a whole little, I don't know, bunch of onions, all these chopped onions. I like to chop most ingredients uh, before I put them in instead of chopping them in the bowl, but I wanted to just do that with the microgreens. Next we got all the pre-cut tomatoes going right in. And uh, that's actually all for the G-bombs. The seeds of the G-bombs is actually in the dressing itself because I got the sesame seeds, the flax seeds, and some macadamia nuts, all right? Now to take this to the next level, I'd like to add some additional ingredients. So number one... We got pepper, we got sweet pepper, and actually this happens to be a brown wonder pepper, and the brown colored foods and purple colored foods have anthocyanins, I believe to be these to be very critical for our health, based on some studies that I've seen, although many people don't know about this, I made a really good video why every gardener should grow purple vegetables, you know, going over some of the science and why it is so critical to my health. In addition, for more purple and for some added nutrients, because I'm not using olive oil, I have basically Kalamata olives that I soak in reverse osmosis water to leach out some of the salt in there so that these are basically just a you know, nice fatty, rich polyphenol enhanced with the fiber, because the olive oil doesn't have the fiber. This has the polyphenol and all the nutrients in olive oil, plus more nutrients that are not contained within olive oil, plus these are also purple and have anthocyanins in there. So we add a little container of those. Next, we have some bloomed wild rice. Another part of my program and the foods I eat 
I believe strongly that it is very important to eat a wide variety of foods. You know, the wider variety and different kinds of foods you can eat, the more different beneficial fibers you're eating, the better you will be feeding your microbiome. Some of the microbes in your, in your gut uh, don't like to eat certain things, and they like to eat other things. And if you don't ever eat any kind of rice, then you won't feed any kind of microbes that like rice, and you won't have those microbes in you. I believe that by having a diversity of microbes, you will be healthier because of it. And to do that, you need to eat a wide diversity of foods. So I try not to restrict to any certain categories. And this is some, you know, something I've been doing a lot more lately than ever before in my life. So this is basically bloomed wild rice organic. I buy it. I just put it in a 64-ounce mason jar with a reverse osmosis water, suck a vacuum on it, then put it in the sun for like two to three days. And then I get bloomed rice that's soft enough to eat without any cooking. So then we're just going to go ahead and dump all this rice in there. Last, we got another item from my garden. This is very special. I want you guys to incorporate herbs into your regular meals. It's very important. I put some dill seeds from my garden in the dressing, but I also have harvested some fresh purple basil leaves and flower tips from my garden as well. This is, adds more anthocyanin-rich foods plus the basil which is a wealth of phytonutrients that we should be eating regularly. You know, to remind you guys, some of the most antioxidant-rich foods on the planet are herbs, and I believe uh, people don't often eat enough herbs. And when you grow the herbs, you could have literally endless supply of herb seed. I mean, it's very hard to find purple basil to buy. And the other thing about basil is that it does not store or travel well. You know, once you harvest this stuff, put in the fridge, you know, it turns brown and black and goes bad. That's why I love to grow it and it grows super simple in my climate. Once we have it all in the bowl, then I like to basically just uh, show you guys what it looks like. And I like to just basically uh, flip it over and toss it to get it all mixed rather well. Once you guys see we have it mixed really well, now it's the time to add the dressing. Now I do encourage you guys to get large bowls like this, especially if you're preparing food for family. I mean, this could feed a family of four like one meal, because I want you guys to eat one salad a day. Salads are critical for your health, especially the leafy greens, as well as these low um, caloric foods that have very high nutritional values. The exact ones that I've used today for you guys, all right? Now to add some fat to make it taste good and to increase the uptake of some fat soluble nutrients in the salad, in addition to provide additional nutrients from the salad dressing, that's why we got a salad dressing to make it taste nice and good. So we're just going to go ahead and pour out this dressing and then we're going to go ahead and mix it up nice and well. All right, we got all the dressing in there. Now we get to go ahead and mix this all up. Now I want to let you guys know that, you know, I've never made this recipe before. <laughs> the recipes I make always change and are quite variable. And, you know, I would say I'm an opportunistic eater. You know, hey, my friend came over, gave me some microgreens. So guess what I'm eating today? I mean, a microgreen salad, and I came up with this recipe based on other ingredients that I have laying around, things that are in my garden, you know, organic produce that is on sale. So I'd encourage you guys to also eat this way and don't have necessarily a shopping list where you got to get these exact same ingredients every single week, week after week after week, because if you do that, you're going to eat a select number of different foods, which is great, but you're missing all these other foods over here <laughs> that you never buy or purchase. So when I go to the produce section, I always try to buy... You know, like one thing new that I haven't eaten before, you know, especially this is quite fun in the summertime when there's like new summer fruits in season or new cultivars that I haven't had before. So that's actually quite fun. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this mixed up and then we're going to go ahead and try it for you. Oh yeah, I want to let you guys know they want you guys to get big bowls and your restaurant, local restaurant supply store is your best friend for that. Um, you know, I like these large stainless steel bowls that allow me to basically mix this stuff because, you know, there's been too many times when I use too small of a bowl and I cannot mix up my mixture without having it spill over the sides and that's quite frustrating to me. So, you know, I mean, this is not even the largest bowl I could get, but this is the size bowl that, that works for me and I don't even know what size it is, but it's, uh, it's huge. So you guys can see I got all this mixed up and this is how it looks. My delicious microgreen salad, first time I've ever made this because I've never had access to this many microgreens. Once again, over $100 in microgreens. Special thanks to Loco Sano Greens here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now we're going to go ahead and try this for you guys. I normally eat about um, one quart of this mixture 
in a day and the the rest will be basically uh, saved under vacuum in my fridge you can look uh, look up a video i made on youtube how to store juices for up to a week i use that same technique to store my you know salads that i make in large batches so i only got to do this like once a week or you know maybe twice a week max uh, to make you know healthy food and i have it basically grab and go style so i could actually do other things in my life because you know doing all this took several hours today but now I could split that several hours into you know today, tomorrow, the next day, and maybe even the next day because I'm going to have salads to eat without any prep work, right? Stored in the best way possible in the fridge, all right? So let's go ahead and try this microgreen salad we put together today. Mm. It's quite good. You get, a, you get that punch of garlic. To me, this is a really mild salad. I'm not like getting any strong flavors. And actually, it worked out that I added just about the right amount of fat. Not, it's not too fatty where I'm getting too much. There's still lots of like uh, textures in it because of the different textures I've used. And I like to chop everything up really fine. To me, this is a nice neutral salad. Oh, I taste the olives in there. Taste the garlic. I mean, this to me is amazing. Now, you know, be forewarned that some of you guys, if you're not used to eating healthy, you may not like this salad. To me, I love this salad. It's totally amazing and totally great. And I want to say if you guys are making dietary changes, I always encourage you guys to go slow. You know, keep eating what you've been eating and slowly and but surely increase the amount of healthy foods you guys are eating and slowly decrease the amount of junk foods you're eating. This way it allows your body to catch up and your microbiome to catch up. Now, of course, if you have some kind of chronic health condition like I had many years ago, I went cold turkey and I was quite motivated to go cold turkey and I was successful at going cold turkey, but I don't recommend that for the most part because I've seen so many people fall off the wagon and then basically never get back on the wagon again because they go too hardcore and they cannot maintain it and they feel themselves a failure. I want to let you guys know that, you know, life is an ongoing journey and an ongoing process. I'm glad that you stayed to the end of this video to kind of learn my process to learn how I make uh, ultra nutritious salad and maybe you guys will make this too once again I would encourage you guys to grow your own microgreens that way you could do it very affordably otherwise to buy these would be super insane I also encourage you guys to grow your own food you know by growing your own food even if you're eating a you know a high level nutritarian diet by changing the quality of your food and growing your own food and harvesting it right before you eat it you could raise up your diet level even if you don't necessarily change the ingredients by growing your own garden. Plus, when you grow your own garden, you guys could grow things that actually money cannot buy. Plants that are even more nutritious than the standard organic food available at the grocery store, you know, that's available in the industrial agriculture system. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode today, me making the most nutritious salad probably on the planet, please sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, please be sure to share this with others that are into eating a nutritarian or nutrient dense or even raw foods diet or even like a gut promoting fiber fuel diet because this is full of fiber lots of different ingredients and one of the healthiest recipes that I could come up with so now you know it also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes I've come out every five seven days you never know where I show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel and I'll always be teaching you guys about how to eat more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and do it in the healthiest way possible so that you guys could get the most health benefits. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge, over 600 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel. And I'll post a couple of links down below when I've actually interviewed Dr. Joel Furman. I actually, he came to my garden. I went actually went to his garden and made videos there. Post links down below if you guys want to watch me and Joel's garden or Joel in my garden where we talk and we interview each other and we talk and it's just so amazing. With that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables, including your microgreen salad. They're always the best. <laughs>